of uh, Ehrenfeld, Pennsylvania. It's approximately uh, 10 miles uh, north of Johnstown, PA. Uh, the, the site is, uh, is an abandoned refuse pile. It was associated with the uh, Pennsylvania coal and coke mines that were opened about 1903. Uh, they mined into the uh, 1960s. What they do is they, uh, they'll either wash the coal or screen the coal to try to get as many of the impurities out of it as possible. In the refuse pile is where you know, these, uh, you know, the material that's generated through the cleaning process is dumped. There's approximately 3.2 million tons of uh, abandoned uh, refuse material on the pile. Uh, the pile posed uh, several uh, issues uh, to the uh, to Ehrenfeld. Uh, over the course of the years, they had uh, stability issues, and then also, um, you know, the pile was hot; it was burning, so there was fumes that was coming off of uh, off of the pile and affecting the neighboring houses. Uh, there's 115 houses that are within 500 foot radius of the uh, of the refuse pile. There was, uh, you know, some time frames where, you know, different parts of the pile were sliding. Uh, it was creating uh, drainage problems, um, you know, at the at the bottom of Second Street with some residents. In uh, there was a couple houses that are within 20 feet of the toe of the pile. So, uh, you know, with the stability and the steep side slopes of the pile, uh, you know, it was hazardous. The project of removing the pile was uh, uh, basically, it's, uh, you know, there's two phases. Uh, number one, uh, the Bureau of Band of Mines Reclamations, they had to find a spot to move the material to. Uh, Rosebud Mining uh, entered into an agreement with them to accept that product uh, under a license agreement. Uh, the second part of the pile was the physical moving of the refuse pile that's uh, behind us, you know, from this spot over to Rosebud Mining's disposal area. So, the first phase of the project was to connect the two sites up. So there was a, a one-mile haul road that was constructed from Rosebud's disposal site over to the active area that we were going to be working in. And we're moving approximately uh, 12,000 yards per day uh, of material and moved approximately 60% uh, of the material that was identified in the contract. Uh, there's 3.2 million tons uh, of refuse material to be moved. Uh, that equates to 2.4 million cubic yards. And um, we moved, uh, again, about 60% of that in, uh, in that five and a half month period. Once the refuse material is moved, removed, then uh, there's uh, 30 tons per acre of lime that's added to the abandoned site. Uh, in addition to that, uh, once the materials move to the disposal site, uh, the material is placed in two foot layers, and then an additional uh, layer of lime is added to that uh, on the disposal end as well. Uh, what you see behind us is uh, an area that's been completed. As we expose five acres of surface land, then we come in and we seed and plant. So the green area you see is, it was completed, uh, and that was planted around September. The project will restart uh, uh, right around uh, July 1st, and uh, we're hoping to get uh, the rest of the material moved by next spring. Once the uh, abandoned refuse pile is uh, removed, there should be a dramatic improvement in the water quality that's hitting the uh, tributaries of the Connemaw River. Uh, there's a, just a large amount of water that's infiltrating down through the pile, picking up metals and contaminants. And uh, once the uh, once the pile's removed, uh, you know the uh, contaminants that's being picked up is going to be eliminated, and the water quality should again uh, be greatly improved.